What's up YouTube? It is tax filing season and you guys are getting 1099s and 1099Ks and you want to know what that means. And voila, here I am. I got a video for you. I'm going to talk to the non-residents, the people outside the U.S. who have LLCs. I'm going to talk to Americans who have LLCs. I'm going to tell you what these 1099 forms mean for you and what to watch out for. And I'm going to go through all of it. If you get notices from the IRS, I'm going to tell you how to address it, what to do. Uh, if you get these forms, I'm going to tell you how to prepare your tax forms so that you won't get notices. And again, I'm going to tell exactly how this works for both non-residents and Americans. So first, I want to go over what is a form 1099 and 1099K. Basically, in the U.S., the IRS doesn't know how much money you make. In the U.S., if you, if you send me $100,000, the IRS doesn't know. They don't know what's going on in my bank accounts. They can't tell you what's going on in your bank accounts. And if you don't get any 1099s, the IRS won't know you made any money. There's different tax forms. If I have a job, I'll get a W-2, and the IRS will know how much money I was paid for my job. But if I'm working for someone, they'll send me a 1099, and that's how the IRS knows how much they paid me. But generally, people aren't sending 1099s that accurately. And the big ones that we're going to be talking about here are from payment processors. So if you're selling on Amazon, if you're selling on Etsy, if you're selling with Stripe, any credit card processor, if you sell more than $600, generally, they're going to send you a 1099. There's different thresholds, and this is changing in the laws all the time, but for most people, it doesn't matter, and I'll tell you why. So this 1099 form, the K and the regular form, is just telling the IRS how much sales you had through their platform. They're not telling the IRS if it's taxable. They're not telling the IRS anything other than the amount of sales in the platform. So what that means for Americans is that on your tax return, you should show sales of at least the amount you got on the 1099K. If you don't, the IRS will probably eventually send you a letter and say, hey, look, you underreported your sales. We have 1099 saying your sales were 500,000, but your sales on your tax return were only 100,000. Please pay this tax. And, and if you get that notice, please call me or call your accountant or call someone. Don't just pay the tax because this doesn't account for any business expenses that you may have had. It doesn't mean anything there. So my, my main thing for Americans is if you are getting this 1099, to make sure you report that income, um, at least in that amount. And listen, if you don't get a 1099, it doesn't mean you don't have to report your income. If you're an American and you live in the U.S., and I'm emphasizing that because I have a, a very diverse audience here, you need to report your income whether you got a 1099 or not. So I get a lot of questions from people who say, oh, I didn't get my 1099s, I can't pay my taxes. You file your taxes regular. You look at your bank, see how much you got paid, look at your expenses, and you pay your tax on the difference. That's for Americans, right? So the 1099s really don't matter if you're doing your stuff correctly. It's just more information for the IRS to try and, you know, catch you, catch you up if you do your taxes wrong. But if you're doing your taxes right, you're already picking up all the income you were paid. And generally, you're going to be paid more than for 1099s. For me, for example, I have many clients that pay me through wires, through different types of payment processors. They'll pay me through different means. And they won't issue me a 1099 because they're foreign entities. Like if I get paid by Rodrigo from Argentina and he wires me $5,000 to do something, then... He's not going to issue me a 1099. He's a foreign person. The IRS would never know I got that $5,000 unless they audit me. So as, if I do my taxes right, which of course I do, guys, I'm a CPA. I got I to gotta take this stuff seriously. If I'm doing my taxes right, I'm going to report $500,000 of income and only have 1099s of $100,000 or $200,000 of income. So that's really important distinction for my Americans. If you're a foreign person, it's a little bit different. Let's say Rodrigo has his own business. He works with me. He sells services online. He uses Stripe. He sells $500,000 of services. The IRS issues him a 1099K. Now, if he has a single member LLC and he's filing for him a pro forma form 1120 with a 5472, he doesn't really report that anywhere. And I've had the IRS ask about this and I've resolved this with the IRS before multiple times. So if the IRS sends Rodrigo a letter to his LLC's business address or his, they say, look, you didn't file a tax return or you, file, you didn't report income on this 1099, you owe taxes, we're going to reply to them and call them and bother them so they process this. But we're going to tell the IRS, hey, IRS, Rodrigo is a foreign-owned single-member LLC with no effectively connected income with a U.S. trade or business and is not subject to U.S. taxation. And in every circumstance, that gets the IRS to check the box, they close it out, and it's done. 
So you don't have to pay taxes even if you get a 1099 as a foreign person. Now, if you have a multi-member LLC, that means that you're filing a form 1065. And 1065 actually has to report your sales and your expenses. And to avoid this letter, we do the same thing as we do with the Americans. We're going to report sales at least to the point of the 10 of the of the of the 1099k. And likely you're going to have more sales than are on that 1099k anyways just because most people don't get paid only with one source. Some people do and that's fine. But you'll you'll report at least that 1099k. And the IRS will never ask you about it. And again, if you are if there's two guys, if Rodrigo and his cousin, uh, Felipe, if they both own an LLC together, 50-50, and they're both outside the U.S. and they're providing services or they're doing something online, they don't have to actually pay tax on that income. What happens is, is that they file a Form 1065, they indicate they're foreign persons, even if there's a profit of $200,000, there's no tax to be paid or withheld because they have no effectively connected income with a U.S. trade or business. So I have another video that goes in great detail about why this is the case, and I have a, a report that um, i got to figure out how to share with you guys that I wrote. It's the Foreign-Owned uh, Multi-Member LLC Master Guide. I have a video, I'll find it, and uh, and the report, I find it too, that um, explained that if an L a multi-member LLC has no effectively connected income with U.S. trade or business, the foreign partners do not have to pick up the income on their U.S. tax returns or pay tax on it. That's not what this video is about, This video, but that's how it works, okay? So <laughs> if you're foreign people and you get 1099, you, don't, you still don't have to pay taxes on it. But if it's a single member LLC, you definitely have to respond to the notice. And if it's a multi-member LLC, you should report your sales accurately and you know, have your accounting done the right way and, and set it up and file. And if you need help with any of this stuff, definitely let me know because we do the filings. We definitely can help respond to the notices and we can help you get set up so that you can receive these payments. That's what we do. We work with people like that every day. And you can schedule a free call with my team at jamesbakercpa.com slash schedule. So in conclusion, if you get a 1099K and you're an American, you should already have reported that income. If you get a 1099K and you're foreign people with business all outside of the United States, then you should um, not be paying taxes on it. If you have a multi-member LLC, you should still report those sales. And if you have a single-member LLC, you don't really have to report the sales. You're reporting related party transactions. And in all circumstances, you always have to reply to the IRS notices. Don't ignore the IRS. They'll just take your money. So you have to reply to the IRS notices. Let us know if you need help with that. And um, if you need help deciding between a single member or a multi-member LLC, I'm making another video about that right here that you can click. I know I've had, I've gone back and forth about it, but this video I'm, I'm filming right now that I just filmed is really good. So click that and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for being here.